Welcome everyone. This is Elsie Kearns, your Chaos to Clarity coach. And tonight I have the pleasure of speaking with astrologer Pam Youngheims, and she's going to talk about her upcoming webinar, June 27th. It'll be from 7 to 8 30 Eastern Daylight Time and 4 to 5 30 Pacific Daylight Time. So this technology allows us this wonderful connection. And Pam, uh, what you are presenting is actually listed as phase two. You mm -hmm. mentioned that coming in July, we're heading into phase two. Can you explain that a little bit to us as to what you mean by that phase two? Sure, exactly. So we're basically in a two-year crunch time. <laughs> So I'm dividing it out into chunks of six months at a time. It works for these webinars that we do, but it's also just about all that we can handle at a time is to look forward ahead for those six months. I know as I go through the class and I'm looking at the calendars and I'm thinking about what's coming up, I usually kind of live through some of the energies. And that's about all I can live through, especially right now, because it is such a big time. So phase one was January of this year, finishing up in, in June. Um, I'm doing the class a little bit earlier this year in June instead of July because we have two eclipses right out of the chute in July, and they're both big ones. So this class is going to carry all of July through actually January of 2020, phase two. January 2020 is when we have the big event. Pluto and Saturn are aligning. And then phase three will be January through June. And then phase four will be July through December of 2020, which is when Jupiter and Saturn align. So it kind of all, all fits into this two-year segment. So that's how we're figuring it out. Well, that's a good idea because that brings us into each segment. So you're talking almost about four phases and breaking it up for us so that we can understand what's happening at each time. You're calling this phase two coming into focus. So mm. elaborate on that a little bit more for us. Sure. This has a couple of different meanings. First of all, um, because of the energies that are coming in, the planetary activity that's coming in, it's really going to help us focus more and more. It almost narrows our perspective so that we can see, like you and I were talking about before we got on screen here, how right now it feels like all we can do is put one foot in front of another, but that's focus. That's helping us focus on what's most important because if we distract too much, we're just gonna be overwhelmed by everything that's going on. So. The focus of coming coming into focus is about us coming into focus, issues coming into focus as well, especially around those dynamic times, the eclipses and other events. So tell us what we can expect from the class, because this is so exciting that you're actually taking us into that January 2020 and that big event. Right. Well, this is for people who haven't been in the class before. Um, what I do at the beginning is give an overview of the bigger events that are going on in those six months and focusing in, again, coming into focus on the most important times, looking at the meanings of them, not just saying, okay, well, Saturn's conjunct the South Node, but looking at what that means and how it might affect us and and really concentrating on purposes and meanings and hopefully benefits. And so with that, we're looking at kind of longer term kinds of influences. So Saturn conjunct the South Node that I just talked about, which I'll explain more in the class. It's really been in effect since April and it'll be in effect since September. So we give that overview first and the Pluto Saturn energy is really building all this year until it, it reaches that culmination point in January of 2020. So I'll talk about those first, um, the bigger the bigger picture. 
And then we focus on the calendars. So everybody who registers for the class gets the calendar. And so you can take notes as we're going. The calendar show what's going on every day as far as the astrological highlights. And I go through the calendars and usually not quite day by day, but week by week, pulling out what's most important. We look very closely at the eclipses. We look very closely at new and full moons if if they're important, um, if they seem to be significant. And and we just pull out significant time frames as well. So that's the general scope of the class. Pam, what I love printing out the calendars. You had those little squirrely cues on the page. <laughs> yeah. They're really crazy. So I always I always look at my calendar and say, you know, what days are gonna be <laughs> difficult? Yeah. Right. And I I do put those little curly cues on there just to help us focus in and if we're having a hard time or and need some kind of confirmation that we're not going crazy, looking at the calendar and seeing, oh yeah, this is supposed to be a crunch time. Okay. And then you go back to the instead of spinning out, which those little circly things can do, instead of spinning out, you can go, okay, this is a time, remember to do my breathing, remember to do my grounding. You know, you pull in all of the techniques that I know that you teach your clients and that we'll talk about within the class as well. And also, you know, focusing on what is this trying to take us to? If we're in fear, where are we meant to be going with that? I, do, I believe the universe is, is helpful and you know, it's supportive. It's trying to help us grow. So it doesn't just put things fearful in our lives just for fun. It has a purpose. It has an intention. And so we're going to look at where where we're meant to go with all of this. And and so those little spinny things that I put on the calendar can remind us, oh yes, this is a day when I'm I need to focus on where I'm going, not maybe how I'm feeling right now. Pam, there's no question that everyone is feeling the intensity of the energies. And they clearly seem to be building, but but why are they so intense? What what is propelling all of this? That's a great question. Well, a part, a large part of the intensity um, is this Pluto-Saturn alignment that is coming up in January of 2020. Now, Pluto and Saturn align in the sky. That's when they're both at the same degree, the same sign, every 33 years or so. Um, but it always corresponds with kind of major events. Um, and depending what sign they're in, it defines whether that event is political or social or where it falls in, in our life experience. So this is a big one. Um, also because there's something called the South Node in the mix. So, yes, yeah, Saturn and Pluto align every 30 to 33 to 35 years. And sometimes there are other planets that come into the mix as well. But this involvement of the South Node is really important because the South Node represents our karmic past. It's what we've come from. It's qualities, characteristics, traits, experiences, attitudes, emotions we're trying to move out of in order to evolve. And so the crunch time is that Saturn and Pluto not only are they revving things up, but then they're revving things up out of this karmic past and revealing all of these patterns that we're meant to be moving out of. But for the time being, all of these patterns that we're meant to be moving out of seem bigger and seem scarier and seem harder to overcome. And again, there's purposes for this. We're meant to overcome them. We're meant to come through them. And yet that's, at least a part of, of the big crunch time. So Pam, some astrologers are talking about this as an event, not only that doesn't happen very often, but that will literally rock the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a part of that, I believe, is because this alignment between these two planets is happening in the sign of Capricorn. 
Each one of the signs rules different areas of life. Capricorn rules governments. It rules social structures. And so we get this sense of Pluto and Saturn making this huge impact and bringing about major change. And it's happening within the structure of our society, within the structure of our governments. And so it's it's something everybody feels. It's not compartmentalized in one segment of society. It's all of our structure. So that's that's a part of it. The other piece that's really interesting to consider is that in the United States, we're actually on the verge of our Pluto return. So it takes Pluto 240 odd years to go all the way through the zodiac and come back to where it was at a certain point, in this case, where it was when the U.S. came became a country. And when a Pluto return occurs, there is a big shift in a power structure. There's meant to be a sense of completion and new beginning. So, uh, you know, all over the world, we're feeling these energies. But in the U.S., we've also got this sense of unconsciously, perhaps, but we know that there's huge change coming. We know that this is occurring and it is happening within our our government, our country, our society. And so it's not something we can say, oh, well, that started over there during the last. I think one of the Saturn Pluto alignments was the start of World War One, you know, but that was over there. And yes, we participated, but it was over there. And I'm not anticipating another world war, but it's like it's coming home to us. In, in a different way than it might have before. And energetically, we feel that. Um, even whether or not we watch the news, if you watch the news, of course, it's even more amplified because we're aware of things falling apart, but they fall apart so that they can come together in a new way. Very interesting. And also the fact that 2020 is a, a year of election another race for the presidency so it, exactly it all sounds like it's snowballing i want to thank linda price for sharing and holly for joining us and a couple of other people here who are making comments and i want to remind everyone that it's going to be live thursday june 27th 7 to 8 30 eastern daylight time 4 to 5 30 Pacific Daylight Time. It'll be recorded for replay, and Pam is going to do a beautiful slideshow. You'll get that. You'll also get the calendars in advance, so you can look at those as Pam's describing those squirrely days, okay? <laughs> Please plan to join us. I'll put the link there. It's uh, very easy to sign up. And if you have any problems or questions or technical questions, I'll be happy to answer them. But it's exciting because we'll be live doing this Thursday, June 27th. Again, if you can't make that day and evening time, just know that it's all recorded for replay. So Pam, what words of wisdom can you leave <laughs> this way end out tonight <laughs> all right well i think going back to the breathing because there's so much in that breath that's restoring and we know that when we get fearful and tight and you know tense about things we tend to breathe more shallowly and we tend to hold our, our posture in. And so kind of expanding the heart, so much of this is about expanding the heart. We're trying to do that each of us individually and also as a society. And, and so the more we can do that ourselves, individually expand our heart, breathe in, calm, the more that energy is possible in, in the grander scheme as well. So I just encourage, encourage that. That's great advice. So everyone, just take a moment to breathe in the power of love and let go of fear. We'll see you Thursday night, 
January, June 27, <laughs> 4 to 5.30 Pacific Daylight Time, and 7 to 8.30 Eastern Daylight Time. There's the link, click on it, come and join us. Pam, thank you so much. Thanks, Elsie, good to see you. Yeah, good night, everyone. <laughs>